Hey everyone, it's Lynn from Cabby Central here and we have a special visitor tonight. His name is Cordy. So Cordy is one of our volunteer Chantel's gorgeous guinea pig who is just absolutely beautiful, aren't you Cordy? He would totally agree. So he's here for a little bit of a check and uh, we'll see how he's going. How old is Cordy now? Three and a half. Three and a half, yeah. Have you got anything in particular you're concerned about? Um, it's more just a general check over yeah. for him. Okay. Just check his ears, you're teeth. A sweetie pie, Cordy. Please. Yeah, he's, um, how old is he now? Three and a half. He'll be That's four sorry, December. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. His coat is really lovely and lush and soft, which is wonderful. And uh, his ears look really good. We'll give them a little bit of a wipe out while it's here. Um, actually one thing of interest, shall we show him his little, show everyone his little bits down there? We're not trying to be rude everyone, but Cordy has um, what we call a cauliflower peepee. <laughs> for, better, for a better word, we'll keep that friendly, but you can see the resemblance of a little bit of a cauliflower, which is just extra skin and swelling at the end, but as a result when they have a little um, penile area, ooh, got a little present for us as well. When they have a little penile area like that, it um, tends to pick up lots of debris from off the ground and the surface. So keeping him clean is, would you say, challenging? Yes, I got yeah. wash it nearly all the time, every day. Yeah, so just keeping him clean because um, it does tend to pick up, pick up quite a bit, but that's something that really doesn't affect his well-being in any way. It's just a little feature of Cordy. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at those ears, Cordy. We might just wrap you up. He's got the shakes. He must be very nervous. When a guinea pig has a little nervous sort of shake, he's um, worried what's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. I'm just going to give your ears a little white filler. So how's he been eating? He feels really good, good weight. Yeah, he, yeah. he's good at he's a food. Yeah, like sort of what's his favourite? Um, he loves baby spinach leaves. Uh-huh. He could eat the bag if I let him. <laughs> Cordy, you wouldn't do that, would you? Yeah. We had um, an open day here at Cavi Central and uh, with that we had lots of people visiting and we had health checks going on, didn't we? Had yeah. loads and loads of people. Loads. Loads. Such a busy day. So we'll be uploading lots of information which will help you out there with your guinea pigs so that you can keep them healthy as well. So the more we can share with you, the more you can learn. We we see a lot in rescue, have dealt with a lot, and of course, you know, I've had guinea pigs virtually all my life, but um, in terms of hands-on, full-on rescue, we're the oldest and the largest here in Australia. And um, yeah, we constantly have an influx of piggies from different scenarios. We even had how many coming today? I think two separately in the morning and seven in the group. Yeah, seven that come in. Yeah, so nine have come in just today alone. So, Cordy, these ears, ears tend to accumulate. If you take a closer look at it, you'll see little skin flakes. Now they resemble the colour of the skin of the ear, but because it's really damp and wet, and of course you've got a waxy build up there, it's a perfect fungal environment. And also for mites, you know, around there, mites are microscopic. But you know, you want to make sure that your piggy's ears do remain clear and clean and wiped out a bit like we wipe our own ears out so we never ever go down the eardrum which is in this direction here pointing down that way we never go in that direction but we are wiping simply out and twirl if you twirl the earbud or q-tip as you go out you can wipe any debris out sorts of things that do accumulate there when your piggies are work, walking constantly on flooring of course where there's little poops and dirt and debris and then they scratch their ears well of course if there's a perfect sticky location some of that's going to remain behind so that's in part how fungal spores spread 
So we just want to make sure his ears are looking really good. Nice handsome boy. Uh, with your Q-tips, always change them one end and then the next. Don't keep reusing one part of that. You want to change them over. <laughs> Sorry, he's going, what the heck are you doing with my ear? <laughs> Trying to shake me off. Let's see if we can wiggle you around this way. And um, a good idea when you've got piggies like this is to hold them wrapped in a little bit of cloth and then you can just concentrate on the area that you want to. So we just slough around the front part of the ear here which often does get get manky and um, we then wipe out and we're wiping out which is just clearing a lot of that gunk and there's lots of folds in around the ear, the corners of the ears. You would really only need to do this uh, in animals, pets that are really well looked after, perhaps every month or two. Uh, when we get them in as rescues though, when they're in a really bad state, literally as Chantal's seen some of mm. them, haven't you? Mm. And uh, there's some videos here, Terrible. pop the links below, but um, yeah, some videos completely, like their ears completely and utterly blocked. So. It's like wax build up plus. Plus more, yeah. Mm. It's pretty gross, isn't it? Yeah. And um, the last little piggy we had with that had substantial bacterial infections in other locations as a result. So yeah, it's, it's quite important. And these are the, the features somewhat overlooked. So um, just making sure that you take a careful look. One thing I will point out, and it's probably a bit difficult on the camera but it's the rim of the ear so right on the edge it you can actually get quite a bit of a build-up on the edge of the ear so to clear that off you actually agitate across horizontally if we, if we call it that if we consider the ear going out vertically by going this way you can actually almost it's almost like a polishing motion if you like that will just remove that build-up and when you feel piggy ears, you'll often feel there's a real edge to it out here because that's the place that's vulnerable um, in a lot of things that piggies do, from cleaning to being nipped to um, scratching themselves. You know, it's the final point of runoff. So we want to make sure any fungal mite issues are completely removed from that ear area. Great. Now, while I've got him there, I might just show everyone what we do. If you do have uh, issues with fungal or anything like that that are local in the face you can use a q-tip to actually go directly to that area and work through any of the uh, material that you're using we're using um, maliseb here today which maliseb is an antifungal we're not getting it in the eye but it's really important if you spot any areas that might look a little bit like dry skin that you go over those and remove them you can see there was a little bit of debris come off there off this eye and uh, again we're not going in the eye have a look at this one here just above the eye see there's like a little spot there I'm just going to lightly go over this I know it probably tickles but again just making sure that none of that is going to to be an issue so you need to be really careful and you only ever do this across the face so there's no chance of it going in the, the piggy's eye because you don't want that to happen at all. Okay, so I think young man you're ready to go for some cuddles. <laughs>